All right, here it comes. Hello everyone, this is Microfan Studios, back again with another brand new video, and I think today is the day where I actually finally publish something this month, and also a little something that would be an ongoing message throughout this year. So if you see the title or thumbnail of this video, or both of them exactly, then you can really tell that this is a little planning video. I'm going to make this video just to catch you guys up and to fill you guys in of what I've been doing over the past month in April. Considering that May is around the corner at this point, within a couple or several more hours beyond our posts at this point, I think maybe it's the perfect time for me to make this video just to fill you guys in of what I've been doing over the past month and what I am planning on doing in May. So... Let's get on into it, and let's just see what this month of May has to really offer in the grand scheme of things. So let's get started. Number 1. DeviantArt In case of you guys are not aware, I actually have joined DeviantArt in February of this year. And as DeviantArt is due... I'm really excited to finally share my actual DeviantArt account to all of you people who don't really know exactly that I actually have a DeviantArt account. Now, on this type of account, I basically just publish random kind of JPEGs of different kind of drawings or different kind of scrapbook photos of something that I, of course, publish onto DeviantArt. Scrapbook is like a word that I would not really use in the grand scheme of things, but it's a word to describe something to, well, basically describe about what DeviantArt's all about, of course. Now, in case you all do not know, most of April, I spend most of my time publishing a lot of deviations on DeviantArt. And yes, side note, DeviantArt has their own kind of vocabulary, like Deviant, Deviations, and DeviantArt. Yeah, that kind of vocabulary. But okay, anyways... If I really want to go ahead and say that when it comes to me uh, doing uh, DeviantArt, in my opinion, I f it feels pretty finale-esque for me to actually do to actually spread my actual um, channel around other kind of websites that nobody already knows, and it is right. And I'm writing on doing so because I actually have, of course, got quite a bit of the watchers when. Of course, getting into DeviantArt. And in fact, of course, you can get into DeviantArt in two different ways, which I will show you exactly how you would do that, respectively. Now, when it comes to DeviantArt, there are two ways of getting to it. One, either Googling it, or two, going onto YouTube and clicking on the link. And yet, side note, once this video is released, you'll be seeing a DeviantArt link to my deviations and you will all be seeing something that is very keen to sh share to all of you people out here and of course i'll show you a way how you can find deviant art when it comes to google because on the actual deviant art account i have searched up my actual deviation or deviant account on this and i actually couldn't really find it of course but on google that's where it all comes to an end. All the perplexion will end within this kind of tutorial, which I'll show you how to get to if you don't find it on DeviantArt itself. Now here's how you get to DeviantArt respectively on Google, of course. Yes, of course, I'm going to be showing you um, the Google part of it. But anyways, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, search in Microfan Studios, and once you pop up over here, you're going to go and click on to images. And whatever kind of DeviantArts you see with, with like the Gavin you saw right there, the Timmy or the Raven one, whatever which one, or even the 
episode one, you're going to click on either one of them, go to visits, and then you're going to go ahead and click on the Micro Fence Studios 4, click on that, and then bam, you're here on the DeviantArt account. Pretty cool, huh? And when it comes to DeviantArt as a result, you could also find it on YouTube, of course, which I'm not going to show you it just yet, considering that I am going to be publishing the video on a premiere, but I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be within April or within May itself, so just bear with me here. But anyways, when it comes to DeviantArt, I published quite a bit of some topics off this one, based on different kind of shows that I always want to publish, of course. So from this profile pic that you could see, I will show you right now. So on this profile pic, you'll be able to see dozens of different kind of deviant arts that you'll be seeing on this. Now, the profile pic I chose for my deviant art account is actually emphasized from all the different kind of photos you see in this one are going to be photos or deviant arts that I will be publishing onto my deviant art account. Starting off from the top, from the bottom, we have ourselves, of course, the Twin Towers, which is possibly the one you're going to see one of the least of, considering that there isn't a whole lot to it that I haven't really gone to just yet, but I am planning on doing it once the chance is golden. And then in the middle, there's me, of course, hand-drawn me, which was actually me drawn in 2023, which I think I did a pretty good job in that sense. Um, then, of course... Um, we move on, of course, you get onto the bottom side of it, you have Tugs, which I have the playlist for, you can go and check that out on my channel, and of course, Timmy, the 95 locomotive right there, the Railway Series edition of Thomas, one of which you might see the least of, but I am planning on making DeviantArts of them soon, TF2, which is possibly the one that you'll see the least of out of all of them, um, if you see the peeking out of the corner from uh, Timmy, you could see that there's a little ghost right there on the back. And yeah, side note, um, or a side tangent I should say, ghost deviations are going to be the most common you'll be finding on this account permanently. Because there's going to be a lot to it that there's going to be onto this one that would actually somewhat satisfy all the viewers. And to everyone's surprise, on Thomas's front buffer beam, you have... Surprisingly enough, Hello Kitty. Wait, 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 what are you talking about this Hello Kitty kind of person, you would say? Well, just to let you guys know, a little side tangent here, I actually am a fan of Hello Kitty, and especially when it comes to the deviant arts that they have of them. And if you're wondering exactly how I got into it, do not question it, alright? And I bet there's going to be a lot of POVs to people when they see me say this, but I seriously do love this kind of franchise. And, okay, let me let me get one thing straight. So, so here's the boys' POV. They're like, oh no, this guy's going to love this craptastic kind of like show. Get off the topic. We don't want to know about it. But then the girls are going to be like, oh, holy crap, it's Michael Fitz Studios. He's a fan of Hello Kitty. That is actually kind of true. <laughs> but seriously though, I am a fan of it. Do not question any more about it, but I like to see some positive things from you. Anyways, whatever the occasion is, DeviantArt is definitely a topic that I've been focusing on for quite some time now. And it's such a crucial step in this journey so far within April. And I am very looking forward to, to see what uh, May has to include with this one. Speaking of which, let's move on to the next vital purpose of May or the upcoming months after this one. Number 2, 72 Seasons Retrospective. Finally, something that is more boy-like, the boys would say. <laughs> um, and by the way, I'm sorry if you guys uh, hear a fan in the background. Um, sometimes I transfer from room to room when I make these videos in my house. Um, but anyways, the 72 Seasons Retrospective is something that I've been wanting to do since, I think, March of 2024, I think. Um, because I actually have mentioned in the Judas Priest Retrospective video that I would actually do a retrospective on 72 Seasons and publish it on the day that the... Uh, album had came out. The album is about an is about um, an entire year old at this point now, um, beyond April fourteenth, because um, I didn't get the chance to 
get any of the footage or the um, or the retrospective uploaded um, on uh, April 14th, which is kind of disappointing. But I'm here to tell you that this month or next month, I am going to release this retrospective. And but what I mean by it is that abiding by this kind of um, retrospective, I would say, I would say one thing, though. When it comes to me doing retrospectives, the only times you're going to be seeing me doing retrospectives is when I actually uh, see a band publish new kind of material. I heard that Testament's releasing a new album, so that's pretty cool, but we haven't been given any information about what that song or album is called yet, but we get a numerous amount amounts of rumorous comments about it saying that there's a new album of course but i digress at that point but anyways 72 seasons in my opinion is one of my favorite albums and i'll explain why in the 72 seasons retrospective video certainly one to be hold of and i'm planning on in may of this year i'm going to get it uploaded but just let you guys know, I just want to find the time right to make these videos. Because I just feel like that every time when I make a uh, video or have a video idea, I always do it on a time where it isn't free for me to do so. Like, if I'm busy, like, helping the family out or something else, then I'm not going to publish any content. But when I find the time that is right for me to do so, then that's when you'll see me publish that kind of content. But anyways, within this kind of um, part of the uh, video, you can definitely tell that the 72 Seasons Retrospective is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. And yes, I will be um, seeing if I could go ahead and do the, do the, uh, the video once I get the time to. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Number 3, Thomas Seasons Ranked. This is a video that I've been wanting to do for a long time now, and as a hiatus is in concept to this kind of topic, it's certainly something to really have an awe of, especially when looking at this kind of video process I am planning to release. Now, when it comes to Thomas and Friends, honestly, with ranking seasons, I've seen a lot of people rank the classic Thomas seasons, but I haven't seen anybody rank any of the other seasons after Classic Thomas. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rank all the Thomas seasons in the classified eras that the seasons fall in. Like from seasons 1 through 7 is in the Classic Thomas era, I would rank them in the Classic era. Then if I'm ranking them through the Hit Entertainment era, the Model era, which is uh, part 2, point, part two <clears throat> and then the CGI era, which is uh, part 2.5, or basically video 3, um, then I'll be doing videos of them and ranking seasons within those eras. The Renaissance, aka the Brenner era, lasted until around about in... From season 17 to 21, I'll be ranking in between those seasons. And of course, Bubba. I know, everyone hates Bubba. No one knows about it if, they don't, if they're not a brainiac like I am when it comes to Thomas. But however, though, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. And I think now for this one, I, it might be the time for myself to actually find it, of course. And by the way, YouTube, and before you go ahead and start taking action to this video, I want to go ahead and say one thing, though. None of the footage or none of the audio from any of the Thomas-owned people are going to be inside the ranking videos or inside this video that you're seeing right now. But there will be pictures from them I will take from different kind of sources, and I will go ahead and paste them into the videos, of course. So, don't get hyped up, YouTube, alright? This is just pictures from the episodes, no audio, no footage intended, alright? Anyways, this is one of them that I've been wanting to do, and speaking of which... Number 4, Thomas Movies Ranked. Just like the rankings of all of the seasons in the typical eras that they're speculated in, this is also another one of these videos where I actually really wanted to do a video on. Counting the fact that I think this one lasted for quite a bit more time than the actual um, season's ranking. I think it lasted for like until uh, starting like October or fall of 2023 and still to this day have not got my mind off of it. Considering how much questions I've been receiving inside my mind to do a video on this. So 
I am, of course, going to do a video on this one. But again, YouTube, none of the footage, neither of the audio are going to be featured inside any of the seasons, nor the movies, just the screenshots or the actual pictures that they do fall in under their own uh, Thomas Ree animations, of course. Um, but other than that, though, I don't got a whole lot to say about the Thomas movies ranked. It's basically the same thing as I provided from uh, the season's ranking version except it doesn't provide a whole lot of um of eras involved in this one all the eras are involved in this one there's no like uh era to specify them in in any kind of ranking it's all in one video but anyways though that is going to pretty much wrap up on the movies and all and the other two that i've been focusing on now let's go now let's get into the two most vital ones Number 5, Rail Fanning. Yep, in my opinion, this is possibly one of the most vital purposes of May in other months, if you ask me this a point. But I'm going to say this. When it comes to Rail Fanning, I really do miss Rail Fanning a lot. Since I've been on a hiatus for the past month, I've been willing to actually going back to the old main line, and I thought I was going to be coming back like in April as of usual, but I didn't because I went on a hiatus and also because I had to do some busy things to help the family. But also I am thinking that now that May is rolling around, May will now be a very susceptible time to do rail fanning. And I'm riding on doing so because I am informed that I might head over to my relative's house on the first weekend of May, which is I think maybe this week, next week, uh, this weekend, next weekend, I have no idea. But whatever I have heard, um, you will be seeing rail fanning in May. So yeah, one of the most vital purposes is definitely rail fanning. But here is one more that I'm pretty sure everybody's been questioning for. How long has this one been on hiatus? Number six, reactions. Hands down, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is the most vital one, considering this one might be the one I have the most to say about in the grand scheme of things. First off, this is a is a hobby that has been on a hiatus for like, I think about 7, 6 to like 5 months now since I've last done a reaction, and the most recent is you seeing this template right now from the brave locomotive video that you can guys that you guys can go check out or the last one on the uh playlist of the uh micro fan studios reacts so that is how that will be settled but just so that you guys know that for 2024 reactions i'm planning on actually releasing um some reactions this month or maybe next month and i am planning on doing some re-reactions like the running on the spot video which actually i kind of do not like the first take of the video of course and you want to know why because it was a monday and it was a school night um on that monday of course and i had to be quiet uh during that time when i was uh recording it so once you hear my um enthusiasm it does not feel like it is uh like it was like enthusiastic at all felt like more was like a uh, euthanized um enthusiasm or something like that i have no idea how to pronounce it all i could tell you is that um is that by looking back on the video it makes me feel like i just want to cry over spilled milk when looking at it that's figurative speech okay that is figurative speech you need to know what that means it means glossing over uh bad memories or anything else but Anyways, back to what I was saying, when it comes to um, the reactions, of course, uh, the template that you see like this is going to be what you're going to be seeing um, for the new reactions, of course. The reactions, of course, are going to have a template that looks just like this, except with a different background to that. With like a totally different kind of template using the 2024 Taipei skyline in the background and of course using the overlay for the reaction and some other editing templates will also be added in just for keepsake but anyways that is pretty much all I got to say when it comes to the list of what I've got planned for May or other kind of months later on this year so I hope you all enjoyed this one 
And stick around for another brand new video coming at your way. So this is Mike's Fan Studio signing off. And I'll see you all in May, because there is going to be quite a bit of some stuff to be released in May once that month drops. So anyways, let you guys go, and have a good rest of your night, everyone, and stay tuned for May. Catch you all later. This is Microsoft Fan Studios, 2024, signing off. Is, okay, I, I want to know right now, is that um, more of a better phrase to say at the end, um, Microsoft Fan Studios? Uh, we're going out, or this is Mike's Defense Studios 2024 signing out. I don't know, I kind of like the new one better. But sir, okay, but for real, this is Mike's Defense Studios signing off. Have a good rest of your day, everyone, and see you all in May.